Today also I am with the straight line patterns and my objective today is just to engage students, keep them engaged with different kinds of beautiful patterns and learn mathematics. In this corona crisis, uh, if students are given opportunity to do something uh, extra and imaginative through their own imagination and engagement, then they will enjoy maths. Just to make the math lovers, I am trying my best in the video. Keep watching. Thank you. Well, in my previous video, <coughs> I made the straight line pattern using two intersecting lines at right angle. It's not necessary that the uh, lines be in right angle. Today, I am going to demonstrate the same technique of making straight line patterns uh, with intersecting lines at different angles. Draw two intersecting lines at any angle. I divide the arms of the angles into uh, equal division of 10, 11, 12, 15, whatever parts you can, you like you can do that way. So I am going here 11 equal divisions. And the number of divisions if it is bigger then it gives the very smooth curve. Uh, if it is smaller it gives the shape of the curve in a lesser accuracy. That's why now the objective is to join one to one, two to two like that. Uh, if you are confused, you can write the numbers over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven like this. And here from opposite direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10 and 11 and the objective here also is to join 1 to 1 and 2 to 2 uh, this way 11 to 11 like that uh, you can change the rule also uh, I, I'll tell you how to change the rule uh, let, let's follow as we did in previous video the same rule Okay, so here the pattern is exactly similar as before, but it has a narrow mouth. It has opened a little bit uh, previously, now it is a bit narrower. If you draw here, that will be more open, you know. It is like this. And if you draw this pattern this side, and you, you would have a shape like a butterfly. So each time, whatever you do, you get the new patterns, and this type of activity could be carried on within a triangle also. For example, I have here the triangle in this one I have drawn this way you know the same thing dividing uh, the line segment into equal number of parts both of them and joining with certain rule in in here if you have done uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 like that then 11 to 1 11 to 1 uh, 10 to 2 uh, your yeah, rule may be anything 9 to 3 and the rule here is these two numbers should add up to 12 their sum should be 12 always you know so you can define your one rule also so that is what mathematics is here and it is your duty to explore it by yourself you research on it and come up with new um, conclusion and be happy in yourself that is what i am trying to do with you and here i have done in the triangle and if I draw both sides, this is this way down and, and it is another way. Then you have something like a burning lamp. I, I'll demonstrate it somehow in alternative way toward the end of my presentation. But now uh, we had done um, reflection previously, transformation. And this one done in the sheet of paper where two straight line intersect at right angle. And we had a diamond shape. We did it. Yeah. previously and color to make it attractive and uh, to do this thing what we do is you know yesterday we had used I mean in previous video we have used uh, the concept of reflection now the same thing is done here by rotation if you rotate this 90 degree you know it goes here 
Did you see? You have rotated this one 90. Next time you can rotate it in another 90 degree and another 90 degree, complete three and four quarter turns, you know, and then you will get the shape. So, but here what I have done is that once you got the shape like this, then this shape is again rotated 180 degree. Previously we did 90 degree. Here in this one, the rotation was done 90 degree, you know. Here what was the rotation? It was 90 degree. And now one, another new shape has been created here. And this new shape is now given the rotation of 180 degree over here. The combination of two rotations completes the uh, shape like this. That is why it is a very effective and useful, interesting material to teach rotation transformation also. So just to make you very much, uh, you know, interested in the topic what you are you have been doing here is a swastik symbol we used to say swastik symbol to this one and this swastik symbol also once you made this one uh, in between two line segment intersecting at 90 degree over here then you rotate this step 90 degree positive quarter turn it goes there and another quarter turn it goes there this quarter and this quarter makes the half turn and another quarter turn makes the three quarter turn and goes back here and if you rotate in another direction clockwise direction or negative rotation and in this one you can verify that this three quarter turn is equivalent to one negative quarter turn and half turn is equal to either positive two quarter turns or negative two quarter turns yeah, that, that does not differ and if you go over here that is three negative quarter turn is equal to one positive quarter turn that way and it comes back to its original position this way you can uh, rotate and learn mathematics with very much interesting shape made by straight line patterns now uh, on the um, you know same way here is one done in the just to make interesting thing with uh, this straight line pattern what we do is, you know, this is done within a triangle and I have some magic with this one. You fold it, you have two triangles over here and you have this set and again fold it, unfold it actually. It was folded, unfold it and you have that pattern and now again unfold it, you have that pattern and it is done within a hexagon, you know this one equilateral triangle, another equilateral triangle, next equilateral, all together six equilateral triangle made they make this um, hexagon and it is something like a spider web. So different kind of pattern go on creating by yourself using your one idea with different kind of obliquely intersecting or intersecting at right angle, take the line segments and do the patterns of your one choice. And now, here also, here is, you know, this one is the triangle. Exactly, I had shown you before. Uh, I'll, I'll show you that, you know. This type of triangle. This six equilateral triangle make a hexagon. And here, this pattern is made through the rotation of that triangle, you know. The rotation here, look at, there is the triangle, rotating triangle. I rotate 60 degree in anti-clockwise direction and complete the set you know it goes there and goes and fit there and goes and fit there six complete turns or you do it in negative way you know rotate this way and this way and this way and this way and this way. and you can go for the combination also you know rotate and get uh, a shape with these two cloud petals let me say and again rotate this to uh, 120 degree two times and you'll go back over there. So that way you can uh, write series of combination of different kind of rotation within one figure. And if you go with the step like this within that triangle, then what will you get? You know, here to this triangular step rotates in any direction, this or this direction and in six 
successive rotation at an angle of 60 degree at the center, you get this type of shape. So this is the presentation and in this one, it is not the case, you do always with uh, straight lines and triangles, something like that, you can go for curved line. You can draw that type of pattern in the circle also, within the circle. Divide the circumference of the circle into equal number of parts. Here I have divided it into 36 parts. And these 36 parts are uh, divided into, you know, four equal one here, you know, making an angle of 90 degree. It's only from 1 to 10, you have 9 divisions. That way you go on joining them. 1 to 10, 2 to 11 at the difference of 10 each, you know, uh, 9 is 3 to 12, 3 plus 9 is 12, 4 plus 9 is 13, go on adding, and 5 plus 9 is 14, you do this way, and 6 plus 9 is 15, and 7 plus 9 is 16, 8 plus 9 is 17 and 9 plus 9 is 18, something like this, you know. And 10 plus 9 is 19. Now go on adding. You move to next point and add 10. That is the rule. And you get a shape like this. When you complete this, you will be having a shape which looks like this. So that way you can help your student enjoy learning maths in a very uh, motivational environment and keep doing very good work uh, with your students. Thank you dear friend being with me today. In my YouTube channel Method Studio I will be uploading new video each day and keep watching and subscribing this. Do not forget to uh, press the bell icon when you are subscribing my channel. Thank you very much.